building your new life. Now I know we are life. And new, um, in this world there's really nothing new. There's variation, as you notice. And when we get, in a sense, this, um, what do you say? Well, when we want to start again, or people say recreate yourself, or as you can see, things are changing, and things that worked yesterday don't work today, or maybe they never work, probably. Probably if something isn't working, it meant it never did work. Uh, because if it does work, it works in harmony and it doesn't need to be fixed, you see. So how you build a new life or have a new life would be when we, when we get that sense of, you know, I've been living somebody else's nightmare or dream. I have believed everything I've ever been taught in school, in religion. I always wanted to be a good person. I wanted to attain all that. It was in the movies and famous people and it seemed like they had all the good times and you know, all the things that you hope and you dream for and you do all these things. But where did those dreams come from and where did those ideas come from? Who was the one that was paying for those to go out to the public, to the children, to all of us? And when we decide we want to have a new life, that's a wonderful, in the, in the sense of, not new, but actually when we're being who we really are as ourselves, it's always new because it's eternally fresh. It's like even one of the secrets of loving relationships is to always perceive the beloved one uh, as when you first so-called fell in love. You, you perceived who this person was. And in some sense, you let down your shield and allowed yourself to have an experience and feeling of love. And then after a while, if people don't know where that comes from and they don't have it, they blame the other person, it's their fault, and I don't love you anymore. Real love never changes. It doesn't mean you're with that person or not with that person, but you always wish them well. So if we're gonna have a new life, it's not a new life that we need, it's our real life. It's to be who we really are. And that can only start in this moment. And first of all, it's to stop looking for who to blame. Because that's that tendency, uh, who can I blame? Because if I don't blame them, I'm gonna have to blame myself. Wonder if you don't blame yourself or others, but have some understanding and un of why we may have gotten ourselves into a predicament that is not beneficial for us and causes pain and suffering and lack and limitation and hardship and all of this, and then being taught to believe this is humanity's struggle, really? First of all, stop identifying yourselves as part of humanity. That has a whole deal. Give up all these labels that have been put on you that you think you are, that you take that on and then take on that cause, take on that guilt, take on that fear, take on all of this. Why? Because you want to feel good. Why? Because somebody told you you're bad. You're not good enough and you never will be. For what? Good enough for what? You don't like me? No, I love you. You can like me, not like me, do whatever. And I know that you love me because we are love. And love does not mean lacking discernment. To be the new you is to be the true you, the real you. And you go, well, who and what am I and all that is, is you, I actually have to start made like peeling the onion go well I'm not that, not that, not that, not that and yet there's the other side of it besides not that but what you are you must also realize that and they're not and even though we're using words and language to actually overcome words and language to get back into to not back but to 
activate our intuitive abilities that are operating all the time, but yet we are either open to that or we're closed. Is that 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 the divine is all pervasive. And yet if we have coverings and veils, that doesn't mean that the divine isn't there, that the divine and the, and the magnificence of all that we are isn't there always, it always is. But if we have these veils and layers of falsity, you see, and really we don't have to reinvent ourselves. We don't have to become someone else. Let's just drop all that we're not. And then you start watching. Where are you pretending? Where are you adding on? How are you feeling there? What are you doing? How are you changing? And and realize that it isn't about these people out there. It isn't about whether they like you or they don't like you. It isn't about any of that. It's that when you own your powers and who you are, you don't have problems. And any opportunity that comes along, like a challenge of any kind, you always seek within. Your answers by in, in communion, in your meditation. And after a while, that becomes so good. It's like one of the things you, you know, one of the ways you can help to know whether you like something or don't, or something's good for you or not, is just notice how your body goes. For so instance, you may go to pick up something to eat and you say, is this healthy for my body? And if it goes like, yes, I mean, yes, good, it's probably fruit and vegetables. You pick up something and then you go, is this good for my body? And it's a bunch of stuff that isn't, and you're gonna go back like this. Your body's telling you immediately, I don't want that. And yet that's really our inner guide also. And there are tools, that's a lot we do in, in retreats and this sort of thing too, in my work with people, is that there are tools that we use to help us to discover and eliminate these degrading beliefs. We did, and, and to support us, each person, and bringing forth the genius that they are as they also move into their next expression by doing and being what they really love as their service and all of their needs are met. This is natural. And how does it begin? Is you, you know, could be in your jammies at night in the darkness and within your being, start your communication if it's not happening. Who knows you more than you know yourself? And also start watching that mind and just notice if you're letting it take you places. Come back. So, yeah. So breathe it in. This is beautiful here. And you're beautiful right here.